he's making a needle balloon sandwich. Oh my gosh, look at the comparison from the Coca-Cola can to begin with. What? It's like a giant worm or something. Whoa, 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 wait. They're bubbling up too much. Whoa. <gasps> and now it made raw candy. Oh, hey, family, you caught me at the perfect time. I'm just doing some science experiments right now. And I really think it's gonna work this time. Just gotta add that into there. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. <laughs> now, the instructions told me not to mix these two together, but I think I'll be fine. First, a little taste test. Wasn't good. Why does my tongue feel furry now? <laughs> Mix them all together and mm. oh, well that was weird. Kind of sus. Or maybe that just means that it's gonna be ten times cooler if I mix all three of them together. Yeah, let's try that. Three, two, one. Woo! What even happened? Mmm. Kind of tasty, though. Family smash like on this video. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes. And that way we'll all have good luck for our science experiments in the future. And then maybe yours won't fail or uh, <laughs> explode like mine did. All right, first experiment. We got water and a plastic bag, but that doesn't look like a good idea because doesn't water like leak out of the plastic bags and stuff? Whoa! Oh my gosh, they just put a pencil crayon through a plastic water-filled bag. Wait, how is it not leaking right now? This is really cool. Okay. Whoa! And now when he removes them, the water comes out. So what the heck? How does the water bag not leak when you first stab in the pencil crayons? Are y'all sure this is science? Because I'm thinking this is just witchcraft. Baking soda. Isn't that the stuff that you put in your cakes and cupcakes and stuff? And then you mix it with... Wait, wait, I missed it. What do you mix it with? With sugar? All right, then. But you don't mix it with baking soda. You mix it with baking soda. Because I guess the new way to make it is with pigs on a frying pan. Oh, uh, yeah, that's weird. Okay, mix, mix, mix it all up. And let's see what we get. Sand? Wait, did they get sand from mixing those two together? Or did they just put sand in there? So I'm a little confused. Oh, okay, okay. So we got the sand. We put some, like, oil on top. And then the sugar and baking soda mix. Whoa! Oh, they just use fire. Family, don't try this at home. Playing with fire is not safe. Even if you're trying to make a bacon scented candle, it's not worth it. Well, maybe a little worth it, so ask your mom to do it or something. Whoa, look at it burning. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck is that? What is forming right now? What? It's like a giant worm or something. What the heck? Or maybe like a giant black slinky? Or maybe like a sausage? I'm- What the heck? Oh my gosh! Whoa! That is cool. I don't know what that is. I don't know how that was made. Well, actually, we do know how that was made. We literally just watched it. Come on, Alexia, think harder. But that thing is crazy looking. 10 out of 10. Coca-Cola! Okay, what are they gonna do to that? Okay, so they got sandpaper. They sanded down the logo part of the Coca-Cola bottle. Now they're putting it into a glass. Wait, what the heck is that? Heavy duty instant power drain cleaner. The heck? The only drain I need on clogging is the drain in my throat because sometimes I say some kind of questionable things. I'd really like to scrub those clean, you know? But other than that, I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, he's filling up the whole can. What is gonna happen? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> the whole, what the? Not only did all the water in there go completely black, but look what happened to the Coca-Cola bottle. Where did the... Tin part go! That drain cleaner said clean out your pipes? Nah! Let's take away your whole body! Oh my gosh, look at the comparison from the Coca-Cola can to begin with and the one now! You can completely bend it and squish it and stuff! But the cool thing is it still holds in on the water! Y'all think this experiment was done by a really big Pepsi fan? Coca-Cola? Let's make it look like they never existed. Okay, that's one kind of marketing strategy. Ugh. Okay, we got a marker. 
Drawing on a plate? Excuse me, sir. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to draw on the dishes? That's kind of rude. Oh, but look at the crab and the jellyfish and the little fishies. Whoa! What the heck? I know we were talking about fish, but... That doesn't mean that you gotta make them swim. But he took the fishes that he drew and literally brought them to life. Oh man, that is cool. I mean, I know fish can get expensive and Buddy's trying to save some money and all, but I don't think that's the kind of fish you can eat. I think that's the kind of fish that you lick and then your tongue will be all blue. And then you might get some blood poisoning or something. But at least you saved some money though. <sighs> oh, a balloon and a needle. Ah, I don't like that. Oh man, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. Oh, I don't like this. That's actually one. Wait, why isn't it popping? Wait, how is he doing that and it's not breaking? What the heck? He's making a needle balloon sandwich. How is he doing this and it's not popping? I need to know. I think these have to be fake nails because I literally don't see why the balloon wouldn't pop. Either fake nails or that's one really strong balloon. Does Buddy have an otter box around his balloon that I can't see? Because that thing's indestructible. Okay, this one's actually really cool. It is how to make a secret letter to your crush or to a friend maybe at school or maybe just something that you don't want your teacher to see. So you get a pen, you empty it out, you squeeze a lemon and you get all the juicy goodness in there. You pop that juice inside of your pen cap after you took out the ink of the pen and then you start writing your secret note onto your paper with the lemon juice. So see, you can't see what it's saying. You gotta let it dry. And then how do you read it? You take an iron and you iron over the paper. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that is so epic. That is really cool, but be careful when you do this. Maybe get somebody else to iron the sheet for you because you don't want that paper to catch on fire or nothing. So maybe don't try this at home. Okay, we got two more glasses and some more water. Okay, one is hot water, one is cold water. Okay, the hot water one has the red food coloring and the cold water has the yellow food coloring. Okay, we got like a plastic like sleeve thing going on and whoa, 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 what are they about to do? As soon as Buddy takes out that plastic shield thing, the two colors of the two different cups are gonna mix and then it's not gonna be pretty anymore. But fine, let's keep watching. Okay, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. <gasps> Wait a second. Why aren't they mixing? Those two different colors didn't mix at all. They said half and half coffee. No, thank you. Half and half lava lamp instead. I am so confused. Okay, so on the right, we have the cold water on top. And on the left, we have the cold water on the bottom. So I guess they're trying to show us the difference between the two. Okay, that one on the left is not mixing. <gasps> Whoa! Wait a sec! Science is so confusing. But kind of cool, but so confusing. But kind of fun, but hard. Uh, maybe my mama can do this for me with Gatorade. Fruit punch mixed with lemon lime. Uh, yes, please. Ooh, now we got some oil. Yeah, I don't think I want to drink that one. <laughs> okay, what are they going to do with it? Okay, they mixed oil with water. Oil with water and oil with water. Food coloring. What colors did they do? Green. That one looks like blue and ooh, red. Bloody red, it looks like. Effervescent? What's that? Oh, wait a sec, family. I think those effervescent things they were talking about is actually the things that you use to bubble up your retainer at night and clean it. Or for grandma and grandpa to clean their fake teeth. Ugh. Anyways. Okay. Whoa, look at the bubbles going. Oh my gosh. I know I just talked about a lava lamp, but this is literally like a DIY lava lamp. Oh, this is flipping cool. Whoa, 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 wait. They're bubbling up too much. Okay, they're like overflowing and it's kind of stressing me out. But it does look good though. Is that how lava lamps work? You telling me if I go in my room right now and pop open my lava lamp, I'm gonna get some oil that I could literally sprinkle over my salad? Because you know us Italians like our olive oil. But maybe not the kind that come from toxic kids toys. Because seriously, family, don't open up a lava lamp at home. Family, comment down below lava a lamp as a secret word in today's video and I'll heart your comment. And now for my favorite time of anything at all, candy. So we got some sugar in a pan. 
And he's gonna heat that up and make some candy with it. Whoa, look at all the sugar. It completely melted. <gasps> that is a sweet glass of sugar water, I guess. Okay, what's going on here? He made it all green. And now he put more sugar on top of the napkin. And he's rolling a stick with it. I'm confused what's going on, family. Wait, what is that? Wait a sec. He left the stick inside the glass. <gasps> and now it made raw candy. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that is cool. Wait, family, we should have known this. So if you have a little bit of sugar on the stick already, and then you leave it in that glass over time, it's gonna crystallize and crystallize until you have a whole flipping candy. I don't know how many days or hours it took him to make that, but the real question I wanna know is, uh, hmm, how do I say this? Um, can I eat it? Cause science can be cool, but I'd prefer if it's just tasty. But anyways, family, that is all the science experiments that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.